Hi everyone, uh, good morning. You're welcome to the channel today. Today we are going on an adventurous trip because it's like a place I've never been before and I've had a feed. I saw pictures of the place on the internet. It's called Ferenwa Waterfall. It is situated in the one by local government area of Nasara State. Um, when I saw the pictures it was awesome and I said whoa this this place I have to go and see and somehow I met someone who told me he has been there and that really sparked everything I just told him man we have to go so we made an arrangement this morning today Saturday we're supposed to meet at 6 a.m. in my office so I'll be there before he gets there anyway so uh, I've gotten ready I woke up like over an hour ago I packed my gear packed my bag everything is set I just wanted to introduce this just before I leave I, I believe it's going to be a wonderful adventure. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it because, man, I learned that waterfall is like way, way higher than the Graal waterfall I went to see, which is about 30 meters. Um, I learned that the, the place is, uh, the waterfall is between uh, Plateau State and uh, Nasarawa State. It's about 150 meters waterfall from top to bottom, what I learned or what I read on the internet. I believe it's going to be awesome, and I believe the pictures are going to turn up fine. Come with me on this journey and you enjoy this trip. has been really 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 interesting I mean I've never been on a journey like this I was going to come with my kids and my god I wonder how they would have felt I mean like almost like their first time on bikes and it was quite a journey it's been adventurous I can't remember when last I, I had fun like this I think it was like three years ago As you can see behind me, the waterfall is there. The sound is awesome. So soothing. <laughs> After a long trek and a long bike ride, a long journey in the car. So it's a sweet feeling. I've actually been here before, I was here some uh, months ago with some good friend or some, some of my friends who came here together to maybe uh, uh, just see the place, see how it looks like because we, we've heard about the place, how beautiful the water is and all and uh, I'm here today again, uh, courtesy Big Wheels Photography My name is Nathalie Munali and I'm going to go to the Bakasi <laughs> It's awesome, like you can't believe the view, like this is a breathtaking view. The journey from Abuja, it was okay. Um, we were in the car for a while before we hopped on the bike that took us here. It was a very long journey, but I am telling you, this place is to feel for like this place is beautiful. The view is awesome. Yeah, finally, we got to the waterfall. The waterfall is called Ferinwa in Hausa, which means white water. I'm sure you can see from the background how white the water is. Uh, I, I heard about this place and I also read about it on the internet. And when I saw it, I told myself I have to be here. Like two weeks ago, we went to Katsu Waterfall. Like a month before now, we went to Gurala Waterfall. You know, we keep going to waterfalls. I just want to keep showing the beautiful place that is Nigeria. 
You know, a lot of people keep talking about the bad things that are happening, but I'm telling you, this country is beautiful. Me, Big Will, is talking about the beauty that this country is. I, I came here with a couple of friends of mine. I came here with Group Matrix. Uh, he spoke just before now. Uh, with um, Hannah, with Patience. My wife also came along today. She's tired. She's somewhere down there. She couldn't climb up the way this way. And while we're coming, uh, we got to uh, a place where we had to stop because we didn't know the place and we asked uh, one of the bike men we saw who just spoke a few minutes back I'll put his picture, you'll see his picture now um, he told us about this day, he said we have to take a bike and I tell you the journey was long but not that it was as hard as the BC to uh, Karishu, Karishu was harder but the dis distance is that, the problem here is that the distance with, on the bike is long, the bumpy ride is long but when you get here, everything melts away all the wahala just disappears and you now enjoy this beautiful sound that is coming from behind me beautiful sound oh just like my mark wins to say on this channel wow wow <laughs> it's so nice and also i spoke with uh, i asked uh, the guide here he told me about the foreign word he spoke in Alsa, which i'll also translate so that you people know what he said in Alsa. this place is beautiful I cannot overemphasize how beautiful this place is. I know I read that the government, uh, what, what I read that they were going to make this place a tourist attraction. I think they should. Because to generate money, not just for the state, but for the local uh, people here, the one by people or the village that is close by. Because one, if they do that, people will sell food, they will sell drinks, they will even, even if there's a hotel somewhere here, people will come and come. As even there was a hotel. We will have come like yesterday, spend the night, then come here in the morning, enjoy ourselves, go back and sleep. The next day, the sun, they will be back to uh, Abuja. Well, if you want to come here, uh, you have to leave very early. Make sure you're dressed properly, um, get your drinks, get your food. Uh, come early, which is very important because uh, you don't want to be uh, caught in the, uh, walking down here in the sun. It is harsh. But, uh, this weather is also fine because it's not the raining season. I learned like the raining season, we can't even sit here because the water will be coming so hard that we all have to like stand far somewhere down there, which I'll also show you in the video. It's a beautiful place. The government should do something about it. I don't know what they're going to do, but they just need to do something. But if you ask me, I'm sure I, I can give you a series of couple of things they should do. What I also think should happen is the guards here, should be well remunerated because I learned the guy says he stays in the village close by, he has to walk all the way here every day. And I don't I don't think they should be doing that. They should be given a bike or something that will ease their job. I mean for them to come here every day and do the job they are asked to do. Anyway, thank you for watching today. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I, there's a new place we'll be going to shortly. We'll be going to um uh, what's it called? Uh, there's a resort in Ninja State we're going to in a couple of weeks. Uh, that I'll also show you. Uh, what's it called? Kind. Oh, Kindy National Park. We'll be going there. We just we just putting things together. I just want to be showing beautiful places in Nigeria. Obviously, when I have the phone, I'll move out of the country, visit some other countries, and show you the beautiful places that I'll be seeing too. Africa is beautiful. Nigeria is beautiful. Nasarawa is beautiful. Wamba is beautiful. Thank you for watching today. If you have not subscribed, like I said before, please subscribe. Hit the bell button so that you get notification whenever we post our videos. And uh, please make a comment, make a suggestion. Uh, let me ask you guys, what do you think the government can do to make this place better? Can you guys just make uh, write your comment so that we can all discuss this and then make a suggestion. We we'll never know who's watching this, who will also help us to make Nigeria more beautiful than it is. Thank you for watching today. Enjoy the remaining part of the clips and voila, next, maybe in the next two weeks, we'll visit some other beautiful place again.